All right, hey, I just wanted to show you a little trick that I learned um, recently. I was working on a project and we're using this big 8K painting and they didn't want to have uh, this look like a farm. And so rather than painting it, uh, I use the roto node and cloning in a way that I hadn't used it before, which was super easy and fast. So you take the roto node, you set the, the source to foreground, you set the output to RGBA, and let's say we want to get rid of uh, this thing right here. Okay. So, we've got that now. We just go over to our clone tab, and hopefully we can find our clone jack. And we pan behind. Um, whoops. There. And if that doesn't look great, throw a little feather on there. Boom. Quick, easy. Um, you can do a, a bunch of them. And each one has its own clone settings. And why do you have to go find that jack way the hell over there? I don't know. But and of course, if you needed to, you could um, actually uh, take from here and scale it. So we will move the jack back and then we'll scale it down a touch so it fits in there properly. Uh, works great for things like removing trees. What's nice about it is you get to adjust it a little bit if you need to. Um, and so that is a lot faster and a lot lighter on the system than having a ton of clone strokes. And uh, it's pretty amazing how you can take, let's say, uh, large areas as well. Okay, so, oh, that doesn't fit quite right. Okay, no problem. Better. Anyway, it's just a demonstration. Quick and easy way to clone things uh, using the Roto tool. And most importantly, you have to set the source to foreground, set the output to RGBA, and then move your clone jack to pan behind. All right, that's it for today. See you next time.